Can you believe that it is like 2022 and your girl has had this camera for like five years and I still don't know how to use it. Also low key, once this camera dies, might get a G7X because the battery problem on this camera. Everything else is great, but the battery is just not it. Mm -mm. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and um, can we just, you know, do you notice anything different about me? Yes, I did cut my hair. I had to cut a lot of it off um, just because that's the blonde life and my hair was very broken and I have it flipped today. But anyways, today I am very, very excited about my hair. I am giving you guys another haul, but this is going to be a very brief, small haul because this is, it is fun clothes, but also the reasoning behind it's not really that fun. Most of you guys know that I am a paraprofessional assistant. I guess that's what I can technically call it. I'm not an actual para, at least not right now. If you've been here, you already know the work clothes struggle has been real for me. When I was working in daycare, my my old job I literally could wear leggings the work shirt and sweatshirt whatever shoes and just be fine this job I kind of have to give a damn but not too much of a damn because you don't want to ruin your clothes make it make sense maybe I ended up getting some more work clothes for fall and I also ended up getting some fun things so if you guys would like to see that then just keep watching and let's just jump right in some of the stuff is from Amazon too I just want to say and Target and actually Sam's Club believe it or not I ended up getting off of Amazon I got a couple jewelry item things I don't know what it is I'm trying to get more into jewelry and stuff again I mean I always have been but I'm trying to just love on the things that I have appreciate the things that I have even though this month since I have actually been off of work this entire month of August I have been kind of shopping, 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 shopping. My addiction has just kind of like reached a new level. So I'm trying to calm down now. Definitely after this month, I'm just like calm because I have a lot of fun things planned. I ended up actually getting this necklace. Now I know it's some, I'm not going to get too personal, but I have shared that I'm on a spiritual journey on my channel. And most of you guys know that I feel like it has kind of taken a turn, literally like a full circle, which is kind of funny. I'm not going to go into too many details, but I did get a new um gold hopefully this i don't think it's real gold but hopefully it's plated and it's not going to make me turn green cross necklace that has like little cubics i think it's cubic zirconium in there i have no idea really excited to wear it just for like every day to work just in general i don't define myself really as having any kind of religion because i've grown up catholic and i'm not i personally don't agree with everything i'm just not i don't think i'm a very religious based person but i do personally do believe in god i've always still believed in god even throughout my spiritual journey with you know crystals and everything else I feel like it's coming back around in a way like it's like okay well God because at least for me I just it feels very true that it's not just the universe it's also God who created the universe and that's just me whatever you believe in you know to each their own so like nobody be coming for me okay the ones that I had were actually from Claire's at Walmart and the gold one I literally wore it all summer and it got so green and gross I just threw it out and I have a silver one but I'm not really crazy about it so hopefully that one keeps up a little better kind of wanted like a nicer one to wear to work not like too nice like fancy like a little bit pro fresh I don't know how to describe it and I think this is the exact one that my friend Roya actually got so Roya if you're watching this <laughs> a cafe deal looks like a normal watch band for my Apple watch it has like little jewels in there and it is rose gold and it's very pretty it's mostly for work as I've said in previous videos the one thing I really love about this job is that it's on a school schedule school year schedule like I'll get more holidays off breaks off I had August off like I said before it's also kind of exciting for me now that I've been off and now I'm going back to work it's kind of like I'm going back to school and I always love school really exciting for me moving on a pair of black on black slip on sneakers vans whatever you want to call them these are not real vans though maybe would get a real pair in the future I don't know I saw these on Amazon they're only like 25 bucks and they're black on black which I love I cannot stand when I find slip on sneakers like this and the top of it's black and the bottom's white I'm like what are you trying to do like what are you trying to play here for fall and in general and they'll go with a lot more outfits and stuff because the ones I have now are light colored which is great for like spring and summer but now since it's like getting fall and winter time I just want something that's just easy especially when it starts snowing I like a little cardigan crazy part of my job is business casual but not really business casual it's like you're not wearing like dress pants and suits and that kind of thing you're definitely not allowed to wear leggings and jeans on the on the regular so one of the things I really like to do is wear t-shirts or even like tank tops and just cover it with a black cardigan so I ended up getting a couple off Amazon the ones that I had were way too short on me and I think it's just it's time for a new era I just really wanted some like long black nice cardigans so this one is a little more lightweight it's like I don't know not like waffle print but you can see these like 
like see through it. It's more breathable. So this will be great for fall. It's very long and I think it has pockets. It has pockets, which is awesome. So I will put links in the description of everything that I got from Amazon and Target to the best of my ability. I got a heavier one. This one's for obviously more winter time and a nice huge long one. It's not as breathable. It's a little bit more comfy, which I'm very excited to wear because I just love things that are nice and oversized and comfy. And I got a couple things from Target. You guys saw, I think I showed this in a haul already, but I'm sorry, I'm gonna show you again. I got this cardigan. It is a 1X, so it is huge. Really love this brown color for fall. I ended up grabbing that. I wanted to get some like long sleeve tops and I was gonna get these ones off Amazon that were like kind of cropped, but I have worn cropped things to work before. And the only bad part about it is that I have to like keep tucking it into my pants so you can't tell that it's cropped because I'm not allowed to wear crop stuff, but like, you know, finesse. Instead, I ended up getting some of these um, bodysuits actually from Target. The Instagram accounts, the TikTok accounts have been influencing me like nobody's business. So I ended up just getting some of these that I can wear and they're all in a large. I think they're by a new day. So I have a gray one. And I think they were on sale the week that I bought these too. So I got this black one, just into the neutrals, clearly. I got this brown one as well. Be very, very cute. Wear with my jogger pants. I do wear a lot of joggers, black jeans. This past summer, the dress was very casual, so I was able to kind of finesse and wear leggings and finesse and wear jeans a lot. But mostly I was still kind of wearing what I'm supposed to be wearing to work during the year. or during summer school time, it was like free for all kind of but not too much, you know what I mean? Told me about these pants. She's like, you need to get these for work. You need to get these for work. These are from Gap, actually, but they had them at Sam's, so go check out your local Sam's Club. These are the Gap Twill Joggers. They're stretchy. They have a, I'm gonna say zip tie. Can you imagine zip tie? <laughs> Am I the only one that thinks that's hilarious? Oh my gosh, okay. Drawstring in the front and there's pockets and they are kind of like jeany material, but like they're not. They're a little bit more put together than the regular joggers I bought from Old Navy or Colorful Koala. They just have like, I don't know, they have like a more like pant pant feel versus like a legging feel. Got two of them, both in black, both extra large. Finally, oh my gosh, I was so excited to find this. So I have just been having the worst sleeping issues. If you've seen my vlog, whatever, all my videos have talked about it. For this one, I. I've had some sleeping issues with like my anxiety and stress and it's just been really hell so I'm exhausted still and it's great it's a great time I can feel myself getting yelled at I don't need any more jackets I have so many jackets I just love them they're so awesome they're comfy they're cute they make any outfit look you know go from like a like an 8 to a 10 like they're just chef's kiss the greatest accessory alive I love jackets I also got like a black denim jacket I don't think I ever showed you guys that though but I did get a black denim jacket like a while ago for the fall I saw this at Sam's it is by BB Dakota, Steve Madden. I don't know exactly. I guess it's just like one of their brands. This isn't a 2X because I wanted it extra big on me. And I got this really cute flannel shacket. I didn't think I was gonna fall into the trend of shackets, but I did because this was just too cute. So me and my mom both got the same one because that's who we are. We're twins. Really love this. I'm excited to wear it. It just seems like it's the perfect amount of warmth, but not too warm. You know what I mean? I love the look of wearing big jackets and oversized sweatshirts with a jacket and just like looking cute with like sneakers like it's just a vibe however for me since I'm a bigger girl and I think that just my body temperature is just like higher or something I don't know I get hot so easily it doesn't matter if it's the summer fall I'm hot all the time versus like my friends that are always cold and I'm just like I can't relate like I'm sweating my ass off right now <laughs> did I mention that I also go back to work well the day that I'm filming this is a Saturday before next this upcoming Wednesday <laughs> <laughs> more so terrified because I don't know where I'm gonna be and I don't know what's going on and I probably won't know until a few days before so that's fun yay the last thing this is actually kind of random and I got today I just got this stuff from my mom today in this cute little bag this is all like sample -y things she's gotten from like her Ipsy and Ulta and whatever so I figured I'd just share with you guys the stuff that's in here the tiniest little brow pencil alive this is the benefit precisely my brow pencil in warm light brown look how tiny that is you guys mighty patches which I love live by these. These are great for if you have blemishes, acne, pimples, even if you have cold sores coming in, it will help to heal them. Any like small little, the only reason I'm mentioning cold sores is because when Nate was here, sorry Nate, I don't mean to put you on blast, but it had like a cold sore thing. So we started putting some of these on it and literally as the days went on, it just kind of like dried up and went away, which is amazing. Spidey patches, not just good for blemishes, good for everything. I love these so, so much. And then there's this little La Roche, <laughs> I hate the name of this 
company, no offense, because it makes me like, it makes me think of things, you know, get your minds out of the gutter. Ha, ha, ha. Broche Posse SPF 50 tinted mineral sunscreen. I don't know how well this is gonna do on me. Oh, universal tint matte finish. 100% mineral UV filters. You know, I'm very weary with like certain sunscreens ever since the Kula one broke my face out last year and I couldn't figure it out until now. Origins Gin Ginseng Glow Boosting Mask, which I have the eye cream and I'm obsessed with that eye cream. The Origins one is like my favorite one of life. A lot of like tiny little like skincare stuff. There's a Glam Glow Bright Mud Dual Action Exfoliating Treatment. There's this little Kylie Skin Clarifying Gel Cream. I don't know what you use that for, but it's in a tiny little tube. <laughs> There's this Roan Alchemist Gentle Gel facial cleanser. I think I've heard of this brand. Not sure on YouTube, on TikTok. I don't remember. I don't know. Is this the one where it comes in that like clear bottle and it's like green toned and everyone's obsessed with it? Someone correct me down below. I have no idea, but this sounds familiar to me. So I'm excited for that. This Kiehl's Creamy Eye Treatment with Avocado. So we'll see about that one too. Kapari. Shout out to Kapari because they sent me some products a while ago. I did a TikTok for them and they don't talk to me anymore. <laughs> I don't know. I just feel weird when like brands are like, let me send you, let's let us send you stuff. And then if I do a video or something, they never like mention me again or anything. I'm like, okay, cool. Pari Ultra Restore Body Butter with Hyaluronic Acid, Prickly Pear, and Coconut Oil. I love the idea of that. Um, hopefully it's not there. They have this coconut melt stuff, which is great. It's but it's basically essentially just coconut oil. And I tried using it. I used it for a video. I tried using it for like a week. And I just realized over time, even after I did the video, I was like, I just don't like this. I just don't like really oily body products on me because it just like, I feel like it never seeps into my skin fast enough. And I just, I'm not a fan. But a hair product. So hopefully this is good. This is the Redken Acidic Bonding Concentrate Intensive Treatment, which I mean, I could always use that because my hair is always broken. So definitely give this a try at some point. Another tiny little sample which I feel like I've had one of these before and never used it. NYX Butter Gloss in Creme Brulee. Oh, but these butter glosses just bring me back to like early YouTube and when I had like a million of them. Good times, good times. And then I think this bag she got actually from Ulta and I was like, Ma, she's like, just take the bag, just take the bag. And I was like, uh. So with that all being said, that was my little like back to work, back to school-ish haul, I guess we can call it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, especially if you're someone like me that is works at a school or at a place where you're like business casual but you're not quite business casual I hope this video helped you because I was very clueless and obviously you guys have seen my trials and tribulations of me buying stuff and as you guys saw I did buy some other pairs of pants from Walmart a long sleeve shirt just like random things here and there so I could like build my work clothes closet fun fact before my last daycare job the daycare I worked at before you had to dress like really nice like a teacher would dress if I left that job I donated all those clothes because I just bad memories so now I'm trying to like build myself up again and I don't know I feel like again I'm a new era in my life I'm gonna be 30 in a couple months so like you know this is my year this is my time to be and I feel like I'm just you know I have to be a little bit more pro fresh but not here clearly I love you guys so much hope you've an awesome day subscribe if you want to see more of me like this video if you enjoyed turn on my post notification when the I post a new video I'm going to start trying to post every Wednesday and Friday probably am by the time you're seeing this but uh the last couple weeks getting back after Nate was here was a little rough I'm not gonna lie I've been dying and I got sick and my sleeping thing so uh that I'm dealing with right now hopefully by the time you see this that's all over and done with and we are in for fall yeah I'm definitely gonna be doing a lot more vlogging David and I are planning on going to the Big E I'm gonna be doing some fun things with my mom just in general I'm gonna live my best life so I don't care but I love you guys and I'll see you in my next video